Hey, I'm Paul Feig, and let's go take a look at my amazing wardrobe. Uh, Buster, my fashion consultant, come on. <laughs> This closet used to be my office, where I actually get, used to get work done, but I realized I needed a closet, so I chose my wardrobe over my work. I've directed the movies uh, Bridesmaids, The Heat, Spy, Ghostbusters, A Simple Favor, but before that I was just like a nerdy dude who uh, lived in Michigan and I got into suits very early in my life. I have a lot of sense because um, Apparently I smell. No, I'm a big fan of kind of finding different scents that make you happy. And as you travel the road of life, you will find different fragrances and you go, oh, that's nice. Tom Ford makes ones like a for Positano and they smell like Italy and all that. For some reason, there's a condom up here. I don't know why. I've been married for 24 years. I had my first pair of Cleverly's made this year, but I had them done in the Winston Churchill style. So they slide on. They have the laces in the front, but if you look, P, F. To me, style is all about just picking things that are kind of timeless. Dressing up is all about sprezzatura. It's an Italian word, but it just means something can be amiss. Something can just have a playful tone to it. Have a pop of color. What's the problem? You know, I decided to go with this pocket silk that has, it's purple, I'm wearing a lot of purple, but it has this nice green piping on it to give a little accent and, and what it does is all part of the sprezzatura. One of the main reasons I think guys don't wear pocket silks is they go like, I don't know how to fold it. Do what I call the fig fold. Take your pocket silk, just grab it in the middle like that, take it, fold it in half, and shove it in your stupid pocket and you're set to go. I'm a bit of a watch fanatic. I just love watches. I love the mechanics of watches. They're, to me, they're like cars. Paul Newman was the one who made these really popular. He's got three Daytonas. The first one brought $17 million. And what's famous about that watch is on the back, his wife, Joanne Woodward, had engraved, drive safely me. So my wife took my Daytona and had it engraved. And since I'm such a boozer, it says, drink carefully me. Mm. Yeah. I was working for a company called Working Title, and uh, one of the guys that runs it, Eric Fellner, said, well, you've been working so hard, and I know you like suits. I'm gonna get you a bespoke suit, which was an amazing gift, because they're not cheap. And here it is, my very first bespoke suit. Also have a real love of Tom Ford. Have a lot of Tom Ford suits. He brought back sort of the wide lapels of the 70s. Now I've got it in a bunch of different colors, and I really, really like them. I, as a director, I'm not required to wear a suit and tie. As a matter of fact, I'm sort of the weirdo in Hollywood because I do when I work. But I love the pictures of old Hollywood when you'd see, you know, Alfred Hitchcock on the set and Howard Hawks and, and early Stanley Kubrick, and they'd be wearing suit and tie. And I, and I just thought, wow, I, when I see a movie, like I always like the idea that whoever was making the movie looked like that. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, uh, somebody made this for me. It's a, it's a Peter Venkman sports coat, uh, Bill Murray's character from the original Ghostbusters. And weirdly, it fits me perfectly. It was just given to me by a guy who makes these, and it fits like it was tailored to my body. Maybe Ghost Tailors did it. Sprezzatura for everyone.